sing it with me now oh. clean on into today's video today's topic i'm talking about fatherhood fellas please be in your child life please be in your child children's life please seriously because there's a lot of kids out here growing up without a father and it's not fair at all it's not fair at all us women we can do it but we cannot do it all yes there are single mothers out here that raise men and raise them very well kudos to the women that has raised men on their own and did the damn thing kudos to you mom but at the same time kids deserve to have two parents not one especially if well it ain't no if she didn't lay down and have that child by herself you was there so you should be there when it comes to taking care of that child now women cut it out being bitter because this man done moved on and had other children cut it out because that's life move on let let go and move on do not keep your child away from their father because you can't let go of your hurt and pain. That is not that child's fault. Let that child be in their father's life. Let that father be in that child or children's life. Let them. Let them. Because I am a living witness having my um, child's father ripped away from my kids. Someone took his life. You know, so he don't get the chance to see his daughter grow up and who she is now and what she like what she don't like he don't get the chance to see that and i hate it every day like every day my baby is asking me different stuff about her dad every day and you know me being me i, I have those conversations with my daughter but it hurt. i wish my child's father was still here i truly truly wish he was still here truly wish he was still here and i'm saying that to say Women, cut it out with being bitter. Stop being bitter. bitter. Let that man see that child. But fellas, y'all got to also put the work in as well. Y'all got to be willing to meet halfway. Meet halfway because it's not about y'all. It's about those kids. If you are not in a relationship with your child's mother, that is okay. That is okay. Let go. Move on. Take care of your child. Co-parent. And it's not that hard. People make the easiest stuff the hardest and you don't even have to. You don't even have to let go and move on. And once both of y'all do that, everything, the co-parenting that happened on his own. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like work work things out, get things situated when it comes to the child. Who gonna have them this day? Who gonna have them that day type of stuff? Y'all know if y'all seen Tyler Perry, he ran the whole thing down. The whole thing down. And I couldn't agree more. Seriously. So that's what I'm saying then to say, let your child's father be in your child or children's life. If y'all together or not, do not take that away from that child. Fellas, y'all have to put in their work as well. Stop letting society make you feel like since you're a man, you have to, you don't have to be there because you do. Just like I have to be here morning, noon, and night, you have to be here morning, noon, and night. Just, just like I have to take days off of work if my child is sick or whatever is going on with my child, guess what, my dude? You got to do the same thing because this is not just my child. And the crazy part of it all is the child is 99.9999% all you. Only 1% me. So step up and take care of your child. Take care of the children you're putting out here in this world. Take care of them. Just like I have to rearrange my schedule at work. Just so I can be there for my child, you got to do it too. If I got to get up at the crack of dawn to get my child dressed, breakfast, all that stuff to get to school on time, baby, you got to do it too. You have to do it too. You're a parent just like me. You're a parent just like me. So stop having people make you think that you don't have to be there for your child. Your child. Yes, you do. Stop listening to society. Stop. Because you look crazy in the end. And your child grow up disliking you. Your child grow up disliking you. So cut it out. Be in your child's life, dudes. Be in your child's life. Help that woman out. Help that mother out. And just because you have a baby, a, a child's mother that's ten toes for their kids, that, that's doing the damn thing and not coming for you for money, still help. Still help. Still reach out. Still contact your child if you can. Still contact your child. If you can visit your child, visit your child. If you only got a couple of dollars to send to your child, then okay. Then okay. But push, make the effort to spend time with your child, children. Do that. 
Seriously, do that. If you don't have no money to buy no Jordans right now, okay, cool. As long as you spend the child time with your child. That's all that matters. But fellas, stop letting making society have you thinking that it's okay to not be in your child's life because that is not okay. You need to be there in that child's life. You need to be there and witness those milestones. You need to be there for all that. Just like the mother have to be there, you have to be there too. That's no question. You should want to be there. You should want to be there. Period. So, fellas, get it together. When it comes to these kids, get it together. Seriously. It's called fatherhood for a reason. And if you're dealing with a woman that's not letting you see your child, not letting you visit your child, that's being downright bogus and bitter, go to court. Take it to court. Get all your proof. Take it to court. It's called father's rights for a reason. Just like his mother's rights, his father's right. Don't let nobody, not even the white men, keep you from your goddamn child. And I'm not racist. I'm just, you know, seeing the saying that goes. <laughs> but seriously, don't let nobody keep you from your child. Seriously, don't let nobody keep you from your child. Fellas, father's right. Rights, get on it. If you have a, a, a baby mother that's not letting you be in your kid's life, guess what you do? Father's right. Take her to court. Just like we can take y'all to court, y'all can take us to court. Period. Be in y'all child's life. I'm going to end this video. And once again, thank y'all for chopping it up with little old Ree. If you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn that bell on, please. And again, if y'all got some stuff that y'all want me to talk about, comment down below.